Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to store IOTA on the Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. All right, so uh, Ledger has added support for IOTA, uh, a cryptocurrency. So as you can see on CoinMarketCap.com, IOTA is number 13 by market cap. It's one of the uh, more serious uh, cryptocurrencies out there. A lot of hubbub about IOTA. I'm not going to go too much into that, uh, but I'm just going to show you how you can store it on a Ledger Nano S. They have recently announced support for IOTA, so I'm going to show you how to go about that. All right, so when you launch your Ledger Live software, the first thing you'll want to do is go over to Manager, and you'll want to make sure that you've entered the PIN on your Ledger Nano S and everything's ready to go and you're at the home screen and so when you go down here to manager it's going to show you all of the cryptocurrency apps that are available on the ledger nano s now unfortunately they will not all fit on the ledger nano s but not to worry you can store private keys for all of these on your ledger nano s you just can't use all of the apps at the same time so we want to go to iota and uh, they have them uh, sorted by market cap now. All right, so here's IOTA, and if we try to install it, it's most likely gonna tell me that I don't have enough room on my Ledger Nano S. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, well, I got lucky today. All right, so I've installed IOTA on my Ledger Nano S. Okay, and after your download, you're gonna wanna confirm that you have the IOTA app on your Ledger Nano S. And uh, to enter it, you'll hit both buttons to get into the I IOTA app. And I noticed there was a warning, whatever that means. <laughs> All right, uh, so now that we've entered the IOTA app, we can go back over here to accounts. All right, and uh, when we hit add accounts, you'll notice that there is no IOTA support at the account level. So we're going to have to use the third party app to uh, interface with uh, the private keys that we're getting stored on our Ledger Nano S. So uh, we're going to go over to a, an IOTA wallet called uh, Trinity Wallet. And Trinity Wallet uh, has paired with Ledger to support IOTA. So uh, I'm going to need to download their wallet first of all. And I'm gonna use the Windows version. I'm running Windows on this machine. All right, you can drop this wherever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna drop it on my desktop. All right, and then we'll just go over here uh, to the installer and double click that. All right, and so the Trinity Wallet goes ahead and launches. And as you can see, you'll end up with an icon on your desktop. We can just uh, create a taskbar icon for that. So uh, we can launch Trinity from here. All right, so on the first run, this is what we're going to see. Uh, I'm going to choose English, and we'll uh, say yes to these conditions and their privacy policy. And uh, okay, so uh, we've got the Ledger device connected and ready. And uh, it's telling us that it wants to generate a master seed for our funds and it recognizes the Ledger. Now, uh, please note that I have the Ledger connected. I've got my pin entered, it's uh, awake. If you uh, take too long, the ledger will go into sleep mode and you'll need to re-enter the pin. So the pin is entered, it's awake, and it is in the IOTA app. So you want to make sure that that's all done when you launch this uh, first run. So it will see the ledger and recognize it. That's the key. All right, and so I'm just going to choose proceed with ledger setup. All right, and it looks like the uh, ledger can store multiple seeds. So uh, we can just choose an index number. All right, and they're telling us that we want to note our index number. Um, it looks like it's just, I guess it could go, let's see, it could go quite high, I suppose, right? 
Uh, I don't think that there's any... Uh, you just need to remember it, that's all. Because it might ask you to re-enter it at some point. Okay, and after we've uh, chosen an appropriate index for ourselves, which is basically just a random choice, nothing to worry about, we'll hit continue. All right, and uh, then it asks us to create an account uh, name. I'll call this storage account. The name is not that important, it's just a mnemonic device for you to sort of uh, indicate to you what you plan on uh, using the account for. We'll hit continue. And then it wants us to uh, create a password, pretty standard, and hit continue. Alrighty, so now it says the wallet is uh, ready to use. Uh, we'll choose open wallet. It says it may take a while. I'm not sure uh, exactly what it's doing. It says loading seed for the first time. Maybe it's generating the seed. All right, so now that we've got our wallet up and ready to roll, uh, we can do a receive. And it's going to generate a uh, receive address, match it, and uh, it's going to generate a receiving address. We want to check on the ledger to make sure that these addresses match. You'll notice the ledger has generated the same address and uh, that we see on the screen. Uh, this is another fail safe. We want to make sure that uh, for whatever reason the wallet hasn't been hacked and is generating a, a different seed than what's on the ledger. All right. All right, so now that we have a receiving address, we can uh, get some IOTA into this wallet. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I usually like to show, uh, you know, the complete process. And uh, I've explained to you how to set up the wallet and everything, but uh, I feel like it's important that I show you how to actually transfer some IOTA into the wallet. All right, so uh, the first thing we need to do is get our hands on some IOTA, right? Um, now, uh, I like Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, a uh, great platform, but you can't buy IOTA on that platform yet. So let's check and see what's uh, available. All right, so we're gonna go over here to wallets and let's try IOTA. Uh, does not look like they support it. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's try Binance. All right, and then we'll go over here to funds and we'll search for IOTA, and there it is, okay. So uh, they do support it, and another thing you wanna double check when you wanna buy some cryptocurrency is whether the wallet is uh, currently active. Uh, different cryptocurrencies go uh, into maintenance mode sometimes, so I just hover over here to uh, double check that uh, the deposit is uh, available and that we can uh, withdraw. So I don't have any IOTA in here at the moment, but we know that the wallet is active. So uh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get some IOTA? So let's go over here and see what kind of trading pairs are available for IOTA. And we can see here we've got uh, Binance Coin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Tether. So uh, all I need to do is get my hands on one of these. So uh, today I'll go ahead and use Bitcoin I'm going to buy some Bitcoin on Coinbase, transfer it into my Binance account, and then use it to buy the IOTA. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to go over here to buy sell. Bitcoin comes up. And uh, I'm going to use uh, my debit card. This is why I start on Coinbase. If I, I'm going to use Coinbase Pro to make the transfer, but I can't buy instantly on Coinbase Pro. I can on Coinbase. That's why I'm doing this first. So uh, let's see, we're going to buy $50 worth of Bitcoin, right? Uh, let's see, I'm going to buy 55 just so it's a little bit over uh, 50. All right, and I'll hit buy instantly. We'll confirm that. And in just a minute or two, I should have my Bitcoin in my wallet. And there we go. All right. And so we can go over here to the dashboard and we can see now that the total value of the portfolio is 61. You'll notice there was a little bit of Bitcoin in there already. All right. And now what I want to do is transfer it to Binance, but I'm not going to go directly from Coinbase. I want to avoid uh, the Bitcoin network fees and Coinbase Pro will absorb those. So if you got a Coinbase account, uh, you can sign up for a Coinbase Pro account. 
for free and it's basically the same account information you don't have to like start from scratch it'll basically just ask you to log into your coinbase account and then when we get over here we'll go to uh, wallets and we're gonna make a deposit into our wallet from coinbase to coinbase pro right I'm gonna pull this down I'm gonna deposit Bitcoin and I'm gonna go over here to the coinbase wallet and as you can see there's that Bitcoin balance from coinbase we're gonna take all of it we're gonna hit the max here and then make the deposit and there we go uh, the funds have been, de been deposited in my uh, coinbase pro account all right so now what I want to do is move that Bitcoin into my Binance account so we'll go over here and we're gonna go to our BTC wallet Bitcoin wallet I'm gonna make a deposit and that's the address that's the Bitcoin address that I'm gonna deposit to I'm gonna copy that into my clipboard I'm gonna go back over here to Coinbase Pro and now I'm going to withdraw and I'm gonna withdraw Bitcoin and let's see it says that it's a zero so I'm just gonna refresh here sometimes you need to refresh in order to get the balance to show and there it's showing up now I'm gonna hit withdraw again and we're gonna select Bitcoin as you can see there the balance is showing now now the destination is that address that I just copied from Binance and I'm going to max it out. I'm going to send it all over. I'm going to withdraw the Bitcoin. And I need to enter my two-factor authentication, which I will do. And the two-factor authentication is my Coinbase two-factor authentication. You don't have to set up a separate uh, Google Authenticator account when you use Coinbase Pro. They both use your Coinbase uh, code. And so there we go. We're done. All right, and so we can see here uh, that the uh, Bitcoin is coming in. Uh, it's still confirming. Uh, all Bitcoin transactions have to confirm. Uh, this is part of the fail safe that's built into the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, so we'll just give it a couple of minutes. Uh, and as soon as it's totally confirmed, uh, it'll be spendable. And then we're going to spend it right away and buy some IOTA. And then uh, we'll transfer that IOTA back over to our new Trinity wallet. okay so I just heard my email confirmation for my Binance deposit come in there we go so now it's completed and uh, we can go over and buy some IOTA so let's go over back over to balances and uh, we'll put in IOTA and we'll go over here to trade and we've got BTC in our account now so uh, let's just go to the IOTA BTC pair right? and what we want to do is buy IOTA with our Bitcoin so uh, I'm just gonna hit 100 percent and uh, that's gonna buy me 122 IOTA all right and so we're just gonna hit uh, I'm gonna make it market so it goes through a little quicker and I'm just gonna hit buy IOTA all right and that should happen pretty quick we can go back up here to open orders and see that we have no open orders that's a good thing and then we can go over to funds and you can see here that I have IOTA now uh, and now uh, all we want to do is uh, throw it over into our shiny new wallet so it's been a while it took about uh, 45 minutes for the uh, transfer from uh, Bitcoin Pro to Binance for uh, the transaction to completely confirm. All right, so uh, I'm just going to uh, double check that uh, my IOTA is, uh, the app is uh, ready and the wallet is ready. So I'm gonna log back into the wallet. All right, and we've got our uh, address ready to go. I'm gonna copy the address all right and then we'll go over here to uh, our Binance and we're gonna make a withdrawal and we'll just paste that address in there right it's a fairly long address 
and we can just confirm it starts with a U and ends with a AW. So we'll go back over here. Or does it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> starts with FWJ, which we can see here, and then ends with the AW. So it's a pretty long address. Uh, you can put your cursor in there and it, it scrolls quite a bit. That's a pretty long address. All right, and then I'm just going to hit available and let it send it all over. And I'm just going to hit submit here. And then I'm going to put in my two factor authentication. All right, and they're going to send me a confirmation email. And they just want me to uh, confirm my withdrawal request, which I will do. And that takes me back over to Binance. And there we can see that the. Uh, the iota withdrawal is now processing all right so all we really have to do is kind of go over to our wallet and uh wait for the uh, iota to come in okay so i just got a windows alert from trinity uh don't know what happened to it let's check it out here i'm gonna log back in Ah, and there we go. Uh, so I got the, I received the uh, iota. Let's, uh, <laughs> and uh, it needs to uh, connect with the ledger again, which I allowed to go to sleep. So let's see what happens here. I'm assuming that, uh, yeah, it tells me that it's still pending. Uh, so I'm assuming uh, after it uh, confirms uh, the transaction on this end that it will show up in the balance of the storage account. All right, and now you can see that the total balance is now uh, showing up in the uh, storage account wallet that we created. And there you have it. So uh, we added uh, IOTA support to the ledger. Uh, we downloaded and installed the Trinity wallet. Uh, we set it up. And then uh, I ran out and bought a little Bitcoin to fund my Binance uh, tr cryptocurrency account so that I could buy a little IOTA. And after I did that, I transferred the IOTA from my Binance into this shiny new IOTA wallet. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night. Please join me for the uh, live Q&A from LA every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, throw out any questions that you have or just join into the conversation. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.